Hey everyone, in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up PrimeNG inside Angular. To start off, let's create a new Angular project. To do this, we write ng new. Let's name this application yt2. Let's press no. Let's choose SCSS. You don't have to do this with npm. We can go inside the yt2 folder which got created and you can use pnpm. You can also do npm install, that is up to you. pnpm just runs a little bit faster. Once this is done, next you can run the application using pnpm start or npm start. And clicking on this URL would open up the website. Now, as a first step for setting up PrimeNG, we'll have to install it as a dependency. To do this, we'll do pnpm install PrimeNG, wait for, this to, wait for it to get finished up. Once this is done, then we'll have to go inside angular.json file. Inside this, you'll see these, there are two lines with styles. After each of these, you'll have to paste these two lines. This will be present inside the PrimeNG documentation. Next step, you go inside the source folder, you click on styles.scss and you paste these two lines. This is also present inside the PrimeNG documentation and also this specific line after this. Now run your application to see if it's working. If you own the website now, it should be working as normal. To see if PrimeNG is properly installed or not, go inside app module ts, import button module from PrimeNG and put it inside imports. Inside HTML, you can remove the contents and you can use button, e button, and run this. Now that this is running, you might see an error like this, that you're using a LTS version of PrimeNG to fix this. Go to package.json and check the version of PrimeNG. You might see that you're using a LTS version. LTS versions are a licensed product of PrimeNG, so you cannot use this. It's better to go to the PrimeNG website, check out the latest version, which is 16.1.0, and update it to this. 16.1.0. You'll have to do a few more steps over here. rm-rf node modules. This will clear out the node modules folder where all of the dependencies are installed. And you have to do install again. PNPM start. As you see, the PrimeNG component has started working. So these are all of the steps required right now to set up PrimeNG inside your application. Thank you.